Hey guys, it's Oscar7917 here, and welcome back to part 5, the second mission of uh, the Arbiter's Walk through part of this campaign. So yeah, looking forward to finishing this. Can't wait to finish this because this uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing this game for you guys. What is it? That stench. I've smelled it before. Yeah, the first thing you'll notice is that in here, as we walk through this door, there's a bit of a surprise here. Just looking below, this is the first time we actually come across the flood. Uh, it's sort of like the heretics sort of release them, and now they are just getting absolutely destroyed by them there. So yeah. Pretty cool music playing now, I mean, the room looks beautiful, so what you should do is take out your sword and immediately just chop up these bodies here, because uh, you'll understand, I'll explain why in the next part of the, uh, in this next section after this, but uh, for this little bit of dialogue I'll just keep quiet. Hold your fire! I wondered who the prophets would send to silence me. An arbiter. I'm flattered. He's using a hollow drill. He must be close. Come out so we may kill you. <laughs> Get in line. Yeah, obviously just flicking through those graphics then and uh, the heretic looks pretty much the same but just looks a lot better graphically but still a similar sort of design and then pretty much so there's not much you can do here the uh, the elites will take care because they've got the plasma rifle if you do want to keep that plasma rifle that's up to you might make this a little bit easier so you can go through this faster but I kept the carbine because it's much easier to use on the bigger flood if you headshot them because it's quite easy this is more of a rifle sort of gun if you do need so you can swap out your sword so you can get more ammo for it make this fight seem a little bit easier for then well for the rest of the mission make it a little bit easier not so much for this part because it's only the little popcorn flood that uh, are here but once you just uh, clear out this whole pretty much this whole room and then you can go through to the lift uh, the lift is probably the longest part of this the longest part of this mission here because uh, obviously everyone knows legendary is quite difficult but if you can get in here before those two elites follow you the the flood for some reason just stay still and ignore you so if you can get in before the two elites and kill most of the flood they won't attack you uh, so that, that's a way to make this a lot easier the, the AI don't aren't quite scripted until those two elites come in so if you kill all of them uh, it's pretty easy it makes that first little section a bit easier and then just take out the rest of the sentinels that are coming that will come in straight after them pretty easy to take out with the carbine usually three to four shots but it varies if depending on what difficulty you're playing so yeah go and use the invisibility because the invisibility will be very helpful on this Especially if you lose your shields, use the invisibility, make sure you're not getting shot. See the carbines, very easy to kill with these guys, just like three shots in the head and they're dead. And it makes this fight scene a lot easier. The lift will just go down and spin. It's quite a long section. Just look at the elites here, like the elites even look so much different. The whole area looks different, like there's light in here, the gun detail. It's just uh, amazing on how different they are between the ten years and... I mean, close quarter, well, that, that elite just threw a sticky and blew up that uh, flood there. That was a pretty decent throw. But yeah, just well used to the, um, good use of the sword and uh, well placed headshots will pretty much save you in this part. So yeah, just want you to keep clearing out the flood and each part. It should just make it easier. Just clear out the rest of the flood. Should make this part easier. See, just good use of the sword. I think I come out here and chop up this body, yep, I chop up this body just in case any popcorn flub come and get it. So continuing on, yeah, just keep continuing around the uh, elevator, just looking around the pillars to see if there are any flood there. Just look around the gaps here, I thought I could just try and see if I could get up there. Nope, I couldn't, and then uh, just, can, just keep going around the elevator, just check and see if through the pillars, just check and see if there's any uh, floods. Uh, 
I tried to guess and see if there were any flood through there, so I threw a sticky. Because uh, for some reason this elevator was taking longer than usual, and I was just watching to see if I could trigger anything. And I just had to really, in reality, I just had to wait just a bit for uh, the, the spawns to happen. Because I was just getting, I was just continuously walking around in circles like, why isn't this working? And uh, fortunately, there wasn't anything wrong with the game. It was just uh, something. I hadn't triggered something, and then eventually, after a while, it eventually, like eventually, the spawn happened. And uh, yeah, so see there, triggered the checkpoint, and then the uh, the elevator just went down, and then spawned the next lot. Just just switching between the uh, graphics there, the hill eats look so much better, and I know I've already said that, but they just look so much better. So once again, uh, the uh, the sentinels spawned in. I was trying to find them, I couldn't find them, but then I was like. Where are they? And then he popped up right there for me, in, in front of me, and then this guy was hidden here. I was just, <laughs> I was just like, what? And then he was trying to shoot us, but can quite see the carbine is really effective for that because the uh, sentinel beam is really, really deadly on legendary. So if you are doing on legendary, make sure you use that invisibility to good effect because the sentinel beam tears your shield apart. I get lucky. Like I get quite lucky there because for some reason the sentinels weren't doing too much there they were for some reason you know just being a bit stupid really so here just collect any walk over the dead flood just in case you might be able to pick up any uh, plasma grenades and if you have run out of ammo pick up a sentinel beam or trade weapons with your elite allies Yeah, I thought I'd just let you hear some of the sounds, some of the some of the sound effects in this game because it's quite nice to listen to some of the sound effects and the music. It's pretty awesome. But really, such really well done for a ten year uh, this uh, anniversary of it. You know, they really three four three have really and Blur have really outdone themselves with this. The quality of the cutscenes are amazing. The music sounds just as good as it did ten years ago. But yeah, here I was just again. I was thinking, what have I not triggered something? Or I was, uh, I was getting a little bit frustrated. And then I was for something like just looking at such things as uh, having legs, which most games don't really have. Most games don't even have your legs in it anymore. And I was quite, and the legs are still in there, so that's always nice. Now, if you blow up those things, those little containers, those barrels, the popcorn flood will come out of them. It's quite strange. They must have been keeping the the flooding containment, which is obviously what this place is, a containment a containment facility uh, of the flood. And then obviously they let, it, they let it out as soon as we came for some reason. Who knows why, but since I was getting a little bit frustrated, I was like, what, why am I, why is this guy, why is this not work, like, and then eventually <laughs> more enemies came and I was like, yes, I've obviously triggered it. So that, that was like, just use the uh, invisibility. Yeah, like I mentioned before, just use the invisibility because it will help you see on how see on how I had my shield if I, you know, before that just went invisible, it would help me and I wouldn't have lost my shields. And then obviously once you get to the bottom of here, you just walk through because obviously that's where you're meant to go for the <laughs> next part of the mission and the flood will charge out, so just get the sword out, pretty simple, and they'll, they, they're pretty much a one-hit kill. And then here, I... I like to break this part of the glass because you get the whole room and if you can take out everyone, throw grenades, you can see pretty much where most of the enemies are, except for the ones on just up below you, which to be honest you should just jump down in invisibility, take out the heretics because the flood aren't too much of a major problem, it's just the the flood usually, it's the heretics that are the problem here because they've got carbines and they'll usually take you out. Uh, your elites usually are quite fine here. Sometimes they will die. Obviously, I lost that one elite there who got blown up by got blown up by the uh, explosive on the fatty, and then obviously I lost that one because of the explosion. And then the popcorn ones killed the uh, killed infested uh, an elite and then brought him back to life. Who then killed the my own ally elite there. So obviously, the carbine is a great effective tool to just take him out. Obviously, see there, he just explodes. So watch out, just be careful with those, because uh, don't what you don't want to do is go in close. Otherwise, he'll obviously explode. Now I went invisible here. I was I was worried the uh, heretics were going to come here. This guy dropped here and was easy enough to kill. Then I stuck him. Got quite lucky there. 
and that because I didn't notice he was running straight towards me. So got a bit lucky there. And then the flood seemed to uh, jump up and try and take out this guy. So I just stick him, and then this flood guy, simple as just use the sword, take out and kill him with the sword. Usually an instant kill. And then I think I just ran past one of the fat floods who I just completely didn't see who blew up right behind me so I got quite lucky there because usually that can be a, an instant kill there if they blow up right next to you and then you can just take out the rest of these sort of flood here they won't but you can, you can either let them jump on you or you can just try and shoot them with the with the uh, carbine and then obviously some of the flood for some reason like to be on the second floor and some of them might have a, uh, a cutter, not a carbine, a beam rifle that'll obviously take shields out so just be careful if they have a carbine or a beam rifle and uh, not a beam rifle, the sentinel beam, my bad so yeah just take out these guys with the sword, close range, they're really easy to take out really easy to take out with the sword here and uh, what I didn't mention earlier because actually I do show you where one of the uh, terminals are, I'm just trying to see where this guy is, he's up there with the sentinel beam and he just jumps down nicely for me so I just headshot him and then obviously these guys come and charge me and see right here is where the terminal is so there's uh, the next terminal, there's the next part of the terminal so I showed you the one on the Arbiter briefly and then I have showed you this one on the Oracle and then I accidentally clicked on it uh, and it brought me to the Halo channel so I cut that out for you guys and uh, that's made that bit easier for you and there's another terminal so yeah once you clear out the entire room this door here will open and well actually I still need to take out the rest of the enemies but once you clear out that room full of the enemies in there this door will open so throw some grenades because a couple of heretics and some grunts will come in so if you just use the invisibility at the right time you can just walk in here not even have to fight anyone and uh, <laughs> you can just walk straight in, the doors will close and you sort of get like decontaminated and this door will open for you and then this is all about timing of the invisibility here make sure you go up the left hand side because you don't have, most of the time you don't have to fight anyone if you if you get the invisibility timing right you don't have to fight a single person obviously just the stray needle hit me but most of the enemies didn't even see me there didn't pay attention to me so wait until your invisibility recharges and then just wait until there, boom, just walk past them, invisible, and most of the enemies are on the right hand side, so if you go up the left hand side, it's usually easier. So obviously that's the shipmaster just uh, telling you what to do. He swung for me, swung for me, missed, and then obviously, good timing of the invisibility, I waited, uh, I thought I'd take a take a time out here just so I could let my invisibility recharge, do what you want, you can go in guns blazing trying to kill them, it's up to you, but I thought I'd be more cautious, run up here, run through here, because there's a little bit of the fight, the sentinels are preoccupied so I thought I'd just run straight through to the uh, cutscene here, and uh, yeah, just take out some of the uh, sentinels just in case, you know, to make the cutscene happen here, the uh, sentinel was coming for me and then obviously this flood here wanted some this will save me from the storm, but you will be consumed. Arbiter, where is he? Stinking floodbait boxed himself in tight. We'll never break through this. Then we shall force him out. How? The cable. I'm going to cut it. Get everyone back to the ships. So the Arbiter there sort of taking charge in that cutscene there, saying he's going to cut the wire, so obviously we need to get to the top here. Now I'll throw some grenades at that door there because a bunch of Flood will actually come out with some Sentinels, and usually as soon as you walk up they all target you as they are stuck in, and then obviously just take out the hit, like some of the uh, Flood coming at you. Well timed the invisibility, you can take out some of the Sentinels as well, but once you get to the top you're okay. Because once, because those grenades usually should take out the most of the flood, and leaving like one or two maybe, and then you should have two sentinels to kill, and then you just take the elevator straight to the top, which should be no problemo. Just looking at the graphics, <laughs> there's just a lot more detail with the lighting. See, obviously there's no light to come through, so it's a lot darker. But there's light on the old graphics. But this is all about well timing the invisibility as well. 
this is all about because you can the obviously you don't have to fight every enemy now I was thinking that I just wanted to look at the difference between the graphics there a lot better on uh, obviously on this version but the th the fact is that even though it's completely new graphics the the actual you know, the area looks pretty much the same like there's not much aesthetic change differently so that's pretty cool and then obviously so you've got to cut the three wires there's three you know columns to cut down so you've got to cut three columns down for you obviously take the elevator back down so this is the last one here like one last cable here and then you can take the elevator down so you can pick up a new sword here there's a sword there on the left which I didn't pick up there's a sword here which I pick up here so you can get there's multiple uh, places to get your new sword hit the invisibility and just literally make a run for the elevator and you're pretty much there now you got to wait until the loading is done and then you can hit the elevator and then go back down so just wait until the lift comes down to the bottom of where we were before so I can show you this little shortcut sort of thing I've that's quite easy to do it's not hard at all all you have to do is just avoid anyone jump down these little la like slide sort of things jump down them except for don't do what I do jump off on the right hand side where you are opposite the door and it's closer whilst you jump off you should land right in front of the door and press X so you can go invisible and call the elevator so I jumped off at the wrong side but not too bo bothered because everyone was fighting each other so what you do you walk in you hit the invisibility just as you walk in and usually the elevator should just about to come up so you can hit the elevator to go straight down get quite lucky here because the uh, heretic elite was not facing me so we didn't know I was there and the uh, grunts didn't alert him with the shooting which is a bit strange but it's quite lucky there because the sword is able to lunge towards people so that's always good and this uh, this flood was a pain in the ass he was whack he was slapping me and whacking me everywhere and I just couldn't hit him I don't know why so yeah you could use the invisibility here kill these two grunts no problem and then uh, <laughs> the flood decided to join in as well whilst the heretic sword elite comes in so that was quite handy so it took his attention to the flood so I just decided I don't want to fight you jump over him and cruise through to the next part of the mission So I see some Banshee gameplay obviously, that was pretty cool. It's always nice to see them and then uh, just take out the Banshee. That first Banshee needs to be taken out and then you just need to boost past everyone. If you stay around too long you will get blown up. So the Arbiter there just showing his uh, amazing piloting skills there as he crashes into the uh, into the wall. I don't know if that's a reference to a reference to Halo Combat Evolved with Chief doing that, but I don't know. I'll leave you to decide that in your own heads. But that's what I think anyway. So all you have to do is just, this is just again you don't have to fight anyone. You just got to run past everyone because uh, their attention's not on you. It's on fighting each other. So it's part of good use the invisibility so you just got to know the invisibility when to use it and how to use it and then just shooting these see those blue containers there those like blue liquid containers just when to shoot those because they're explosives and then just looking at the differences the lighting is completely different like there's not much light in between Halo Combat Evolve uh, Halo 2 anniversary and the new and old quite strange that but you know because this is not quite a hard but uh, it's just me so yeah, all you have to do is just literally just run past everyone, no problem. See here, just well use of the invisibility and cause no problems. So you see here, this is where I'm talking about you shoot these and blow them up and that should take out some people who might have their attention turned to you. And then obviously see I'm getting shot here so I just wait until my invisibility recharges and literally just walk past everyone so that was really easy. So if you just do what follow I do though with the invisibility, that, that area is so much easier. So we're coming up to the end bit here, there's a cutscene. 
Arbiter. <sighs> Arbiter. I would rather die by your hand than let the prophets lead me to slaughter. Who has taught you these lies? <laughs> the Oracle. Hello. I am 343 Guilty Spark. I am the monitor of Installation 04. Ask the Oracle about Halo. How they would sacrifice us all for nothing. More questions? Splendid. I would be happy to assist you. The elites are blind, Arbiter. But I will make them see. So we finally meet the heretic leader who's just put down some holograms that we have to fight. So what you should do is just get the sword out and you know just charge at them. Try and slash like I did like I was crazy just slashing at them. So if you just take out those two you can literally just whack on the invisible and the invisibility and jump up on here because he's usually lurking around this area. And then obviously just go mental with him on the sword. He flies away and then that's like a clear indicator that he's hurt and then you've like got... I don't know, like two more slashes with the sword and he should be dead. And then, so yeah, I thought, I tried to predict when he would come back out, so I was trying to throw grenades. Didn't even get it in the hole, which is always helpful. And he didn't even come out at all at that time. So yeah, just base yourself, get to the pick up the checkpoint there. But just base yourself, just listen out, use that motion tracker to, you know, pick up where he is. And then obviously, if it does get a bit too hard, you can always hide by these uh, pillars. You can always take cover of them, but be careful because the holograms follow you. And on occasion, he will follow you. That's why it's always helpful if you just go invisible when you get your shields back, go around behind him, and then obviously just kill him. And then he was there, and then there's another cutscene here, the end cutscene, and yeah, this has been Oracle. Unfortunate. His edification was most enjoyable. I had no choice, Holy Oracle. This heretic imperiled the Great Journey. Oracle? Great Journey? Why do you meddlers insist on using such inaccurate <laughs> That is the Oracle. So it is. Come, we are leaving this system. So if you did like this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and see ya!